I drank mm -hmm. my friend's water bottle and then told her that I had to go to the can you can do that. Do you like Dungeons and Dragons? Well, we're dragging these dice. Comedy d and 5 e actual play show. Where a group of inexperienced heroes embark on a vast, deep storyline within a homebrew world brimming with magic and mischief. That'll sure to have you rolling with laughter. With laughter. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. Before we get into the episode, we've got a collab we wanted to mention that we're going to be involved in, but I'll give it to Shello to tell you more about it. Hello there. It's me, Shello. Or Aaron. Uh, me and Pebbles player, Scally, are going to be joining Adventure Corp for a collaborative one-shot campaign on Sunday, July 21st, 28th, and August 4th will be on their stream from 12 to 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And you can find the stream at twitch.tv slash adventurecorp. Hope to see you there. And I'll actually be a player in those second two sessions. So once again, that is Adventure Corp. Now, a long journey through the Sun's Peak Desert has finally led you all to your destination just within reach. The location of the under construction fighting pit you aim to destroy in the vacation resort town of Hasday Salil. You're also aware this town had strange happenings in which travelers vacation there to never return, including the parents of a turtle named Gert. But in the last few days, you've mutually helped, then made enemies with the royal Yanti family known as the Kaesilian dynasty. You've vanquished a paladin hunter driven mad by the opening of a portal to the far realm, and you've helped unionize bug people that have agreed to take you on a makeshift leaf boat with them to the city. Yes. On this boat, you met a secret stowaway named Daniil Sundra, a sultan within the desert that was injured and cursed by the dark magic of his usurpers. He told you of a group called the Faces of Death that want to bring upon the dark sun foretold in an ancient prophecy. And Sultan Sundra wishes for your group to aid him in reaching his old war general that now resides in green clay. Then that <gasps> same night, Marin had another one of her strange dreams in which she recounted the moment on the battlefield when she was struck with the magic that gave her wild powers. And close to death, something urged her to keep going, a shard of a dragon scale appearing before her, emanating a drive for her to reach out to it. Pebble received some revelations of her own in the form of a book written by the Elven King that raised her charisma with his humble yet powerful words, while also giving a bit of a history lesson on how the powers of the continent were formed. But strangely nostalgic to a prior era similar to how people nowadays are nostalgic for the period it was written, a time before the gods mysteriously vanished with King Einar being hopeful for what's to come with a grand meeting of all the deities at the capital. Other than this, you all had time of bonding on the boat ride until the resort town began to come into view as the hours of the day began to draw late. But waving through the untraveled waters, you seem to disturb the life that swims below as small flying snakes shoot up out of the water and swoop down at you all. Some scrapes and bruises here and there, but all in all, you're able to take care of these snakes swiftly and continue on to the docks of Hasday Salil in front of you. The salty air thick with the aura of good vibes and beach living. Before you get to the coast, whoever, Vermeer turns to you all as he's uh he's helping kind of mop up the poop deck of these snake guts and such i have to be uh, a bit honest with you all uh, i didn't only agree to uh, come to help you take down the coliseum uh, truth be told i mostly uh, tagged along so i could see my wife as i had not seen her since the strike started and well she has a uh, florist shop in town and she got caught up with that and wasn't able to come back to Mori with me when the strike began. I know you all have urgent business needing these blueprints, but uh, if I could simply ask to uh, spend the night with my wife and we can reconvene sometime tomorrow, possibly. I don't see the issue. Yeah, that, that's so, true. Yeah, that is perfectly yeah. understandable. I appreciate it. I... it. Just go see your wife. I also miss my wife. I get it. You have a wife? Yeah. You're married? Uh, well, no. Okay, no. not yet. But not yet. Well, well, but so I'm you have a special I, someone. Yeah. Well, no, but yeah, if, I had, wife, <laughs> if I had a wife, so like if, eventually, if you find someone, yeah, I would also miss my wife if I, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I have a wife, so okay. That's I, great. Congrats! Oh my gosh. I miss your <laughs> wife. You what? miss my wife. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Is that not what we're doing? No. He starts like no. standing up tall, like wielding his uh, great club. No, no, down no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Say no, that no. again. No, no, no. Shallow I... just, just simply does not understand the intricacies of language. He doesn't we know what that implies. I thought we were all missing. <laughs> well, no, because that would be. A problem. Okay, out of out of this, what if Shallow actually is having an affair with this guy's wife? I mean, <laughs> we're just we're just oh thinking he's not. Like... <laughs> my no my, uh, so who's funny. polishing his blade from uh, the blood right now, uh, he just kind of says softly, "Well, I do hear that there are people in this town that uh, are missing, but uh, I guess we'll see once we make land." Ooh. So, the boat comes into the dock. There's some people at the uh doc that seemed to be just kind of like watching things they seem kind of surprised the boat is arriving but then you hear captain whirly say they're not making any shipments or anything they're just stopping by um they give like knowing nods and kind of like tie up the boat and everything tic tac says you all can gather your supplies here uh there's a hotel in town uh places here kind of pricey it is a vacation resort after all we all we have some quarters here we can stay we don't need to uh, go to the hotel, but the, there's not going to be room there for you, so you all can just uh, enjoy your night. Is, is this like a really fancy, like resort like that like sauna would know of it, or is it? Um, yeah, you probably uh, have heard of it as a as a vacation resort town, especially in more recent years they're trying to make it uh even more of this like resort place by putting like this coliseum here and making it like a, a very big deal is see from what you know it's the top vacation place for royals to go to uh you know that like things here are a bit on the, on the pricier side i've heard about this place my um during one of my recitals my parents went here that's that's what? nice a recital for what I no they no they went instead of going to my recital. Uh oh. Oh. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, I heard great things though. They brought me back. Um, they have they have like these like, like these weird wooden souvenir carved things. I don't know what they were, but like it was neat. I have wooden carvings. Can I take out my sauna doll from my my bag of holding? Yeah, which one? It's not even made of wood. Oh my god, I'm going the, to lose uh, my mind. It's not even made of wood. I like to take out... Well, the only one that is here in my bag of holding is a wooden doll. You two in there. Stim oh my god, I can't do this again. No, go ahead and make an I like check, I guess. 17. You find the jade one you had custom ordered, but you also find a wooden one when you would put the jade one in your bag of holding it must have like slipped your mind that you had this one but as you think about it you don't remember ever commissioning this wooden one from that one guy uh poe dicky you have, you have like a bit of a funny feeling you don't remember having two because why would you get a second one you already had one so you're beginning to question what that's all about i'd like to take out the wooden one because we're talking about wooden dolls uh -huh. i'd like to hold it up to to sana's face yeah? It's carved and it looks like you. Does it look like me? Does it even remotely look like an elf? Uh, yeah, it does actually. Pointy ears that look pretty much identical to yours. Uh, the, the long hair. Uh, you can kind of see the resemblance of like the clothing and everything. It's smaller, so it's hard to get like facial features like exact, but you can tell that whoever made this has um, some visual reference to go off of. Uh, what? When did you get get this? In, uh, money bags. I don't quite remember, uh, but I have others. Uh, you see, I have, I have the keeper of the owl, and I have Marin, and I have Rock Lady, and I have me, the juggling ant boy. And and I you, have you. What do you do with them? They're uh, uh, they're, uh they stay in my bag. So I don't lose them. They, you can screw up the back of them, and the, and they walk. Uh, I'd like to uh, sc screw the the back of uh, Sana the Sana doll and <laughs> set it on the ground. I'm not gonna Sana. screw Sana. Um, yeah, kinda, it, it, the little wooden figure kind of gets wound up, and then like the the wood legs start moving. They have like little platforms at the bottom that like hold them upright uh, and steady as they walk, and just kind of walks like a, a few seconds and stops. 
the that and that's and that's what they do. I was gonna was, look to the rest of the group. It like, was a grand inventor. This this one of Sana looks pretty much identical to all the other ones, uh, aside from it being like different people, of course. But it looks like the same craftsmanship. Hmm. Well, if you have no interest in my wooden figures, I will. I'll put them away. I'd like to pat the pat the bag after I close it. Yep. <laughs> uh, Sana, you also know that the hotel your parents stayed at is called the Solar Hotel that is within this town. But my parents told me that there's like this real nice hotel called like S Solaire, I think. <laughs> um, I, I think that's what it's called. I wasn't listening fully, but we could try going there. H how nice, because I I'm not very uh, liquid right now. I'm, I'm solid, actually. I'm a rock. I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of money, but it's a it's a fancy hotel. Can we can we really like stay at a fancy hotel? I don't know why you bring it money. I'm pretty. It's fairly cheap. Um, but you said it's fancy. Oh, it, I. How cheap is cheap to you? What do you mean? Um, because my definition of cheap is a couple copper pieces. What are copper? Um, no. <laughs> so you guys are currently at the uh, dock of this place that seems to also kind of connect a little bit ways down to this like boardwalk area with like various shops and amenities and restaurants. Uh, you know that the hotel is uh, kind of like deeper into the town, but like kind of close to this boardwalk. Uh, and you can actually see it from where you are. Uh, it's like the tallest building here. It has a big like sun statue uh, at the like top of it. And it's kind of this like half circle kind of formation. And it's the biggest building here, except for what you see as the construction of what looks like a giant arena. That's kind of like rectangular shaped uh kind of like has the framework on the outside a lot of tarps around it but it seems that the center of it is more constructed than like the outside uh sort of like stadium area i think that's the the building i remember um uh, i remember seeing a painting of my of my parents standing kind of like in front of like a statue in the distance I, so i think that's it if it's cheap we should check it out so as you walk towards this uh place you kind of enter into the grounds of this like hotel resort area it seems that um there's a sort of like spa area attached to it and the outside of it has this like big fountain in like the center of this like half circle of like the building um and then going inside there's like a front desk with this guy uh sort of um running the the front in this like nice suit he seems to be uh elven but there's a human man in like floral print uh clothing seems to be arguing with this, with this guy at the front desk and you overhear some of the conversation. He's like, I'm telling you, buddy, the maids, they, they brought me back the, the wrong clothing. There, there's a bunch of women's clothing in, in with my clothing. These these maids need to be fired. I'm not paying this much to, to stay at a, a place with terrible service. Uh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Are you sure that this uh, clothing isn't yours? All the paperwork seems to line up do i look like a woman and then the clerk is like i don't know what you get up in your free time sir and that seems to make the guy more mad and he's like he starts stomping off uh, like just leaving the clothes there and the, like the front desk and the clerk starts like pushing it off the desk into like this bag as he sees you all approach and he's like oh yeah hello i'm, I'm terribly sorry about that uh, are you looking uh to book a room how, sorry how much would one night be well uh, it's uh, seven gold per night Oh, wow, it That's actually really is per, per person? Per person, yes. You look, you look into like a file uh, book. You came at just the right time, actually. We, we noticed some vacant rooms come up and uh, we're, we're looking to uh, fill them. We're running a bit of a discount. I was told your hotel is very nice. Yes, of course, we're the, we're the nicest in all of Hazde Salil. This is the Solar Hotel. Do you have a not nice hotel? <laughs> I, I, there's some other hotels, but trust me, you're going to want to stay at, uh, at our hotel. We include a, a free spa that will uh, get you nice feeling refreshed. Oh, oh, I, I haven't don't... had one of those in a while. I don't think it's free I... if it goes and... to the room price. Yeah. Would you rather yes. not have it? In a it's room? free with the room. 
Well, but that means it's not free. It's included. You're you're very right. I'm terribly sorry for making that mistake. Because he's like smiling. No. She, she sort of like presses the her Double. tongue against the top of her mouth and uh, begins to uh, create a vacuum in her mouth to suck in her cheekbones a little bit. Stop! And... <laughs> you're not mewing. If if you were to point me in the direction of the most least nice hotel. I think you're going to want to stay at our hotel since uh, we are the best around. Uh, and Olive has to say a little. Uh, in, in fact, uh, we haven't been getting as many tourists here uh, in the past few weeks as we used to. So we actually have uh, plenty of vacant rooms. I can get one uh, one room with a bed for each of you even. That's I am not got any uh, big like super sweets or anything like well, the, our super suites are reserved currently, uh, but I, I do have a room available with uh, enough beds for, for all of you. Uh, should I pencil you all in for a room? Sure, that's not actually as much as I expected. When Sana says something's cheap, I assume at least two platinum. Yeah, this is fucking dirt cheap. <laughs> okay, can, wow. can I just get all I'm your gonna, names? I want to put down uh, three platinum and five gold. I am Shello? a... Juggling I, I'm, 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 I'm Sana. Um, <laughs> that that's Shallow. That's Marin. That's Pebble, and that's Balthazar. I am Pebble. Fantastic. Have that all written down. I can show you to your uh, rooms here. Do you have any uh, luggage? Uh, I don't. Where did you come in on? We can have a someone go out and uh, get everything for you. We had a private sale. Uh, they they got it all covered. You came in uh, by boat. Yes. And you're not leaving yes, anything yeah. on the boat? That you maybe forgot about? We're very light packers. Oh, oh my god, the guy, the stowaway. <laughs> Wait, what do we do about him? I'd We're like gonna to... smuggle him into the I, <laughs> Like I would you like... would a pet. <laughs> I would like to place my uh, luggage, which is a drum. <laughs> um, he takes the drum the... and is like, uh, if this is it, I can show you to your rooms. I can go on to the rooms. You guys yeah, like I'll... to add something. I, I just have something to do real quick, if you could just uh, show All right, the, the others, whoever would prefer. If you get lost, just let the employee know, and he starts walking off, uh, showing those who follow him to your room, mm -hmm. so you know where that is. He tells you, uh, shows you where the spa is, um, gives you all uh, little kind of like magic key cards almost. This spa will actually uh, give you 15 temporary hit points. Yo. Oh, is this open all day? Yes, open all day. Do you have a sauna at all? <laughs> we do have a sauna in there. Zooey. And I'm sure we're about to have another sauna in there. He kind of winks at you. <laughs> oh, I, I give a gold. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. So what 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 are the rest of you doing? Are you going to get the guy or whatever? Yeah, who, yeah. who's going yeah. with who? Because I'm, I'm, I've made it clear I'm going to the boat. I'll go as well. Going back to the boat, the, the bug guys have already gone off uh, wherever they went off to. There's still some like, just like dock workers here. There's about two of them minding their business, kind of sitting around. They seem kind of bored, like they haven't gotten very much traffic here. Pebble hops up on on the on the boat and finds this, the, this little fella. Uh, and she's like, hey, sorry, we sort of... We sort of left. Lifts his head. He is very like sweaty and kind of dazed. He's like, "Oh, we made landfall." Yeah, yeah, we we did. I'm um, just gonna use like her part of her clothing, I guess, to like wipe off his forehead. Are okay. you sure you can stand? Uh, you said you have some steed for me. I assume that I just have to sit on that, right? Yeah, just. Please take care of her. This is my this is my lovely my lovely steed boulder. And I don't want you to to get her hurt. This where? Well, I mean, this is going to be. It's going to be, okay. <laughs> I thought it was invisible for a second. Or I was well, just getting really delusional cool, from this. He tries to stand up but kinda of like falls back down and is like, okay, Maren's gonna help, help him up. up. <laughs> yeah, Maren's gonna help him out. Thank you. I've been to a, a war, so I, I should be able to. Well, I didn't fight in the war. I was I was a, a, a I was a merchant, but I've lived through the war. Oh, that's well, good. You know what? I raise that however you please. A like little. That. I mean, just still <laughs> Surely that be won't careful. Keep my head down. I don't want to gather any unwanted suspicion or any 
eyes on me as I travel in this state, uh, even though, uh, of course, I didn't fight in the war. Being a merchant during it, I do know how to uh, travel long distances and avoid bandits. Good, good. That'll help. <laughs> well, we're just gonna walk out with him like normal. Okay. Once you once you get onto the wood of the dark, he's like, ah, there's the Salil. I haven't been here in years. Look at as charming as you remember. I'd say a beautiful uh, city. The waters are just the right temperature. I'm sure you'll have a good time here. Pebble's going to walk to a um like road and and start to pray like putting her hands together and uh beginning the ritual to summon boulder after 10 minutes boulder climbs back out of like the ground as you like summon it in front of you and looks at you pebble's gonna put her hands on boulder's like horn and say all right i need you to listen to this guy for just a little bit okay boulder and when we need you We'll call you back. This isn't forever. I'll, s I'll, I'll see you again, Boulder. As she's gazing into his eyes lovingly. It's staring at you blankly, then it kind of turns its <laughs> head to like the side, looking at you confused. It's okay. It's okay. Go on without me, and Boulder. Then, as you start crying, it looks at Marin. <laughs> I I know. I know. I know, big guy. We'll see you soon. Pebble would like for you to take this man to Green Clay, up up north, and then once you have dropped him off, come back to us. Boulder then nods his head at Mary. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> then he'll kind of like uh, leaves your grass now, kind of regaining some of his strength and able to kind of like limp towards Boulder, grabbing onto Boulder and. Uh, trying to like lift himself up onto Boulder, but not quite able to lift himself up all the way. Not strong enough uh, for that yet. <laughs> Mirren's going to very gently lift him further onto Boulder so that he is fully oh, yeah, yeah. on you top of Boulder. <laughs> go up and just like lift him up and he's like, <laughs> thank you, I'm, I'm in your debt. And he grabs one of like Boulder's horns or the, the center horn and is like, uh, this is a strange steed uh, how do i work it pebble slaps boulder's ass and says go oh, girl boulder starts running <laughs> off and he's like oh he's like hanging on for dear life as boulder Don't just like runs me, down the boulder. road <laughs> i love you forever <laughs> can we cut oh to uh, sana eating shrimp with everybody but like, you think you think pebble's crying <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, have, you all have like a room service in the room. Pebble opens the door and is like, Hey, hey guys. <laughs> she collapses on the ground in a puddle. Um, how nice are the rooms? Uh, they're, they're very nice. They have like some nice lacy uh, curtains and, and such. Uh, enough beds here for all of you. Like the guy said, the fabric of the sheets is like very soft and also kind of like... Uh, has this like cool quality to touching it. There's a bathroom, there's a small like kitchen. The worker also like personally shows up a little bit after delivering the shrimp with more uh, dishes you all had ordered. Have you been to Hesde Salil before? My parents no. have. Oh, first for, time. For first us. timers. Uh, I love to hear it. I love when new people show up and we hope you show up many times more. If you don't know, uh, there's a boardwalk with a beach for activities you can do there. Uh, various shops. There's a nice restaurant uh, on the boardwalk if you want uh, lunch or dinner tomorrow. Uh, I hope you only enjoy your night if you decide to go down to the spa and have a fantastic day tomorrow. Make sure to wear sunscreen. Sunscreen? Sana's kind of like bouncing your bed. She's really excited to have, have like a spa day again. If you need anything, we'll be at the front desk. Sana's already in like the the robes of the of the hotel. Yeah. At this point, he then like leaves and closes the door. She, she's right at Dang. home, man. Okay, guys, get out. Girls' night. I'm gonna yes. bring Shella to the side and kind of whisper, "Hey, um, everybody's yes. a little tense, and like this is like a good opportunity to like de-stress. And I understand you're just confused." Like you don't know, and but like I need you to really hold your question in, or Marin might fucking die. Like I understand you're Do a curious I... little boy, but like, uh, please withhold any questions from Marin. Only from Marin. 
Yes. You can talk to Balthazar. Uh, Sasha's gonna jump up then and then start pushing Shello and Balthazar out of the room. Uh, I, we will find another room, I suppose. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, we're going to the spa. You two ain't coming. I will find uh, another hotel that is <laughs> not nice. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. Is there like is there like separation between guys and girls? The like sauna portion, uh, it does have like different chambers for guys and girls, but the the rest of the spa, uh, there's like private booths for like um, massages and stuff. There's like a little like pool with like chairs around it. Um, there's you, when you walk by, you see like this uh, halfling with a, with like some cucumbers on his eyes and sitting in one of the chairs, a towel around his head. I want to. So I was going to point at Marin and uh, uh, Pebble, like, going in. What? what we're getting a massage. We're going to get, we're gonna have a spa day. And then we're going to go to end on the sauna and then have a really relaxing night. We're going to, uh, what? How are we You're not questioning me. I've been wanting this for I months know. now. You want yourself? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to toss them the robes. Get dressed. Meet me down in half an hour. Oh, how, so, uh, half how an hour. big would you say these robes are? <laughs> like big enough to comfortably fit Marin. They they have uh like various sizes. Um, so the, the the biggest size it might be a little bit small, but not like not too small. Uh, okay. It seems to be made for someone that's around like six foot tall. It's just not the same without Boulder. You'll be fine. Boulder will be back. I'm gonna assume that Shallow and Balthazar are just standing outside of the room, <laughs> just yeah. still in their regular clothes. Yet? Do you have uh, some rocks? We can play some games. Uh, I don't, but I'm sure there's some outside. Uh, we can go look. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go look for rocks. Okay, I <laughs> boys for day. Your, I pay for your hotel. There's like amenities. Uh, uh, is you going to play with rocks? Hell yeah, rocks. I'm not in the mood to be played with. I, I would prefer to just lay You are uh, rock lady. I am looking oh. for rocks that that we can roll. Okay, rock. You're, you're also pebbles. They're too small. Oh, okay. They seem to already have a whole system ready to play. I feel like they've probably done this before, <laughs> and we just didn't know about it. Do they have their own game developed? Maybe I heard one of them exactly. say Constitution save. What does that mean? <laughs> so at, okay. at the, in the spa, there's just one half thing here laying there, but you don't see any other people here. Uh, you even like go to like one of the, where the massage rooms are, and you like open the doors, and there's like no workers in there that you can see. Sana, where is everyone? The sauna, however, is uh, on. Uh, you open it, and it seems that there's like coals in there. It's like making it like a heated room. Nice. The game plan is we're gonna get a massage end off on a sauna and a good night's rest does that sound good you two i, I guess yeah. are there oh. any okay i've tried massages in the capital before but they weren't very expensive and they were always sort of for elves do you think they'll know what they're doing like at all she has an idea what's happening so she's gonna like can she like observe the uh halfling to see like some invisible force is moving them <laughs> them at all uh make a perception check uh, 19. As far as you can tell, he uh, has fallen asleep. You just uh, kind of see his chest moving up and down slowly and kind of hear some late snoring. Like a ghost giving someone CPR. Oh my god! Sana's gonna like just get in one of the, the massage chairs and see if something happens. You sit down for, for a minute. It's kind of laying on the like the massage uh, table. Nothing happens, though. Damn, I was hoping for magic. Um, I don't think there's anyone here. Can I go lay back down? Do the sauna! I want to wallow, sauna! I'm gonna grab you and just drag <sighs> you into the sauna. You can't even move me, so she's just, like, sort of moving along with, like, pity. <laughs> like... <laughs> Maybe everybody's on break, or they went home for the day. Didn't that guy say they haven't had as many guests? Maybe that's why? I start like pouring water on the coals. Feel good, right? I don't know. It, it sort of just you... feels very stuffy. By the it's gods, you are. Warm. You two are a difficult batch, some you say. What does that mean? 
I, is that a good I'm thing? Crying. Just, 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 just. I know, I know. You guys are like very like pent up stressed, but I just, just, just. I need you two to just chill and just vibe tonight, okay? I mm. just, just let go, relax. Well, I'm not holding on to anything. Uh, as Mirren relaxes, you hear her back crack in about eight different ways. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn. That woman Damn, is bitch. tense. See, see, this is why I want to do this. Did she just... Oh my god. Did, did a ghost just break mm. Aaron's back? Oh, huh? Ghost no, I'm fine. Back. It's... What? Man, this is... This is relaxing. As you all relax, three of you gain 15 temporary hit points. I'd like to throw a small rock at a slightly bigger rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wonderful. Are you guys outside right now? Yeah. While you guys I'm are just like, kind of wandering the streets <laughs> uh, for rocks, uh, you see that there's this like beggar being like shooed away with a with a broom from this guy who seems to own like this surf shop that's like closing down for the day this, this seemingly homeless man is he's grabbing like a cup of just some like loose copper and a cardboard piece of cardboard with writing on it it says copper for the deaf i need a silver and head up north this town's evil evil they're watching always watching you almost be complicit leading these nice tourists to their doom as he starts just hurriedly rushing off down the street. I'll fucking I'll give chase. He might have rocks. <laughs> okay, make make a uh, athletics check. Okay. And a perception check. Uh, twenty. Oh, damn. You start running after him. You see him like duck into like a uh, back alley, and you run after him and like uh, catch up to him. He starts kneeling down <laughs> behind his trash can, almost hiding or possibly in like shame, putting his head down. Excuse me, sir. He's just like looking at the ground, shaking his head. <laughs> That's. I, he said co a copper for the deaf, right? Uh, yeah. I like to uh, throw two copper at him. <laughs> they both like hit his head and he like looks up and is like, oh, what the hell you are? Oh, uh, thank you. I'm Shallow, the, the juggling ant boy. I can't tell what you're saying with those mandibles. I want to use telepathy to okay. say, hello, I'm Shallow, the juggling what? ant boy. I can hear. Are those drugs finally kicking in? Her voices, I hear voices now. <laughs> it's me, Shello, the juggling <laughs> ant boy. Make it stop! Make it stop! Excuse me. He's like, you she's said... like grabbing his head and like, like rolling around the ground. You it's coming get... after me. They're getting me. You said the the tortoises were in danger. At least slide if, a silver if. along the ground in front of him. He's not paying attention to you. He's screaming on the ground. I want to cast suggestion. Tell him to stop screaming and talk and and talk back to me. He stops screaming and looks up at you and is like, "What do you want?" You were uh, speaking with a man with a broom earlier. Like to know what you meant by the the tortoises being in danger. Everyone here, they're even the animals. The tortoises, they're, they're in danger. What what is happening? Death all around us. Well, yes. It, uh, w what is causing this? <laughs> watching, always watching. Uh, who? Who is watching? The, the faces. Uh, my face? Your face? All oh, faces. Oh no. Everyone's face. Do you have any drugs? Uh, <laughs> let me let me see. Um, <laughs> let me see is crazy. <laughs> I like to. Yeah. I, I I doubt the. Uh, of this, but I, I'd like to uh, give the the poor man a fairy mushroom. Wait, Basis. you actually have drugs? <laughs> it's a small dried mushroom with a purple and yellow coloration. Bites down on it, and then he starts looking around. His eyes go wide, and he's like, "Oh, oh, this helps." Yeah. Oh, I don't see the faces oh, anymore. <laughs> Falls over to the ground, just like laying down, staring at the wall. I need uh, what he's having. I want to slide the the same silver piece back <laughs> over towards him, and I think we can walk he away. He starts licking the silver piece on the ground. Do you know any not nice hotels? We've recently been uh, removed from our nice hotel. 
Uh, <laughs> we're moved from Coliseum. Uh, you uh, were. You were removed blue? from the Coliseum? This silver tastes like pudding. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I had it in my pudding pocket. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he seems already out of it. Maybe I shouldn't have given up the mushrooms so soon. <laughs> I, uh, I, I catch up to Shello. Like huffing and puffing because Shello just sprinted off. <laughs> Hello, Keeper of the Owl. <sighs> You told me you were running. This man can't speak, uh, cannot hear me because I have uh, large jaws. Uh, the, the deaf guy? Uh, yes. Well, he's not dead yet. No, no, shut up. No. <laughs> he did say there was death everywhere. Look, I'll, I'll explain that later. But basically, he cannot hear. Ah. But he can he hears in his in his mind. Yeah, that doesn't need the ears. He also uh, sees faces. Faces. What do you what do you mean faces? Uh, he uh, said there were faces everywhere, and that they were watching. And then he ate uh, the funny mushroom that I've kept in my pocket for at least two weeks. Oh no. And uh, and the faces are no longer there. He oh, also mentioned oh. the Colosseum. What was he rambling on about, though? Uh, about faces uh, watching. Uh, yeah. People in danger. Turtles mm -hmm. in danger. But what? But like, what kind of danger? It's. Uh, he said uh, death was all around. We should probably get back to the group. This doesn't sound good. Where d did we find enough rocks? So those of you at the spa have now finished up uh, walking back through the lobby now, passing by the one guy at the desk. He's sort of reading a book and we, he sees people approach. He quickly puts it down. He's like, oh, hello. Uh, How would you enjoy the spa, the massage, the sauna? Uh, where where no are the massages? Yeah. Y yeah, there's no one to you massage. You didn't enjoy them? No, no there was no one there thinks for a second and he's like all right i guess we don't have any masseuses uh i'm very i'm terribly sorry uh i can give you a, a voucher uh, uh if you'd like to uh, uh some gold off on your next uh, trip here can i i think i'm making an insight check trip. on this man yeah go ahead and make an insight check 16. he seems a little bit like confused you don't get the sense he's lying in any way just maybe absent-minded uh, well, how do you what do you what happened to the masseuses? I guess, uh, I guess we just don't, uh, have any in right now. I should probably, uh, put out a, something in the paper to hire some more. Or, uh, again, I'm terribly sorry. If you'd like, if you'd like a, a voucher for, for next time you're, you're on vacation, I, I can, uh, I can make you one up here right now. And he starts grabbing some stuff on the table. Excuse me, Mr. Table Man. Uh, oh, you're yes, back. welcome back. I must ask you. Have you seen any faces? I I see a few right now. It looks at all of you. Uh, not not these faces. Uh, other faces I all see around. Many faces every day. I'm watching. Uh, uh, plenty of people uh, uh, watching other. Uh, these are strange questions. I'd like to uh, look around. Perhaps uh, the the young man by the by the pool. At this point, he's kind of waking up. He like lifts his head. A cucumber falls off, and he looks around groggily. Oh, we head back to our, our room. Yes, let's. Yeah, but why why are you talking about faces? There was uh, a man with with a sign, and he he said he was being looked at by many faces, uh, which seemed to disappear after he ate a very funny uh, mushroom growth. I want to look towards Balthazar, as, as like giving the face of, is this true? I mean, from what Shello told me, the guy was on the ground, drugged up like a mule when I got there. But he would mentioned like faces and that everyone in town was in danger. And he also said death was everywhere. Kind of reads back to what we heard earlier about the faces of death. And I, I hear that the the turtles were also in danger. 
sometimes mm. I see Shallow's face and I think it's the face of death, if that's what you're talking about. He had a sign to do with uh, death and and Cooper. The man is, is deaf. He and is deaf. Yep, yeah, like, no, not with it. Not with a TH, but with an F, because oh, he can't hear. A deaf man death. on the street. Yes. Talking about death. Wait, so he was deaf, and he was... Wait. And, uh, oh, no. I'm so sorry. No, but a man who could not hear was talking oh. about faces and oh. death. Okay, okay. Well, why didn't you just say so? They did. We did. Before he... Uh, failed to respond further, mentioned uh, leaving the Coliseum. Leaving the Coliseum? Do you think this has something to do with the the, the no the no masseuses? I think it do might you, have something to do with the disappearances. Do you think the masseuses had faces? You think someone should, should stay up in, 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 in case death comes? <laughs> Cello, would you mind keeping an eye out on things? I'll let you know if I see faces and death. Also, okay. let us know if you hear the doorknob rattle. Or if is I it? I there's a window. Faces. Yeah, there's a window. You have a nice view uh, of the beach, actually. Okay. Uh, just, I guess, well, sh not hear faces. You can't, that's not a thing. If you if hear, I hear any death. noises, I, I guess, if you hear any noises, Wake me up. Okay. And I don't mean like winter. I, you know what? Never mind. Just wake me up for any noise. Oh. That's not snoring. I don't have to sleep as long as you guys. So I'll I'll take watch in the in the morning. Can I'll take a yeah. long rest then? Uh, Shello, can you make a perception check and tell me how you're kind of keeping watch right now? Scanning over the room slowly, as if uh, a uh, uh, rotating security camera. Four hours after that, Sana's gonna wake up and join him. Yeah, go ahead and roll a perception check. I, like, see him in one side of the room, and she's gonna, like, kind of scoot towards the other corner and do, just kind of follow his gaze to see if he's, like, <laughs> what he's doing is working. <laughs> 16. The two of you, uh, combined looking around, you start to notice that the sun is rising, light is going into the room. You're allies are beginning to wake up it seems nothing has really happened throughout the night uh, it's very quiet no disturbances anything like that uh, out the window you see uh, a few families start heading to the beach um some people opening up shops and things the boardwalk well, the... has a few people walking around it uh, early in the morning not even any suspicious looking figures and like you don't have faces you don't see anything, you don't hear anything, you don't smell anything wrong. Uh, looking outside the window, there you'll occasionally see someone walking around it at night, maybe like taking like their trash out or something like that. But it, it doesn't seem like there's uh, anything weird going on. From our window, would we be able to see where the boat was docked? It's kind of far away, but you can see where the boat is docked. And it's still there? Yep. But how the the guy the guy at the front desk was talking and then you saying faces kind of spooked me a bit. Um, Have you not that, seen any faces? I no, I mean like I mean like the you described it sounded like it was like disembodied or something. I don't mean like people's faces. I'm not sure exactly how the faces are. I I, I don't know either. If I see one, I I'll ask for you. You should probably ask for Marin. No, I will ask the face how they are on your At behalf. At 6 a.m. sharp, Mirren wakes up. Maybe we could go see if there's people who are ready to actually massage us. I'd like to check the front desk. Oh, hello. Good morning. Uh, heading to the beach? Are the masseuses in? Uh, no, I haven't had a chance to uh, hire any yet. Uh, sorry. Our spa is very nice, but you shouldn't be spending your entire vacation in, in at the hotel, you know? There's an entire beach out there, a boardwalk. Have you heard about that guy who was, like, babbling in town? Someone like babbling? Say, was he bothering you at all? I'm very- I'm terribly sorry, he's- No, it's just, 
We ask him to stay juries. away from the hotel, a lot of the shops, shoo him away. He's always on the streets begging for money. He, I, I hear he lost his hearing in, in the war or something of that matter. He was put in the uh, Colosseum. He was on death row for stealing, but since the Colosseum, uh, the construction paused, they didn't feel like uh, having to keep them there any longer. They just kind of let him go. Uh, sorry, you mentioned... He was a soldier in the war? Yes, uh, I believe so. I mean, I don't know him personally. It's just what people say around town. Bit of a, a whack job, if you don't mind me saying. Bit harsh of language. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I, I mean, he's a uh, uh, disturbance to many of our uh, guests. They don't appreciate him around. He was babbling on about seeing faces everywhere. No, oh, don't, don't let the guy spook you. I can give you a, a voucher for a little bit off uh, uh, next time you're in, if he bothered you. Mm. I'm convinced this guy is telling us all he knows. Can make an insight yeah. check? Yeah. So glad someone else did. I didn't want to do it. Yeah. Twice. But... <laughs> I, I was thinking about it, but I was more worried about the... Oh, well, shit. I was thinking yeah. more about the guy and, like, going to talk to him as, you know, a soldier. Nothing seems strange from where you can mm. tell this guy seems like he just this beggar is bothersome to him as a person who works at this hotel i guess we can go find him if he's still around uh, mm. are you all going to the beach because you're all uh well uh, your rock friend here is in very heavy armor some of you have in a lot of like heavy clothes do you did you pack any bathing suits it's really not that heavy once you get used to it. I think the water might be good. It might like help, uh, you know, it'll, moisten it'll the rest joints. And it'll rust. You may yeah. want to go uh, to the clothing shop uh, in town. She can probably make you up some bathing suits. Uh, okay. I, I've never worn a bathing suit before. I don't know how that... Okay. Um, I'm gonna fingers crossed and just mutter to myself I. quietly, like, like, please don't let Balthazar be in a speed up. Please don't let Balthazar. Oh God! Oh my! Why would you make Why would you say that? Oh my God! Why would you say that? Why are you thinking of that? As you leave the hotel and arrive at this shop uh, by the boardwalk, uh, you actually spot uh, Zimbalm that uh pink moth outside and she's like oh hello everyone i'm, I'm just relaxing uh, before we uh, do any work while her mirror is away are you coming here to get some uh swimwear my mom actually owns this place she uses oh. her own silk to make uh swimsuits and uh, her silk is special and it's water resistant my mother uh, zimwear oh i get it Anyway, I'll, let, I'll leave you all uh, uh, to it. Uh, I'm going to go uh, hit the beach myself and just kind of flutter over it because I don't want to get wet. Do you think like, like sh she's like aware of like this, like the resemblance in her name? Walking into Weird. your shop is this like white uh, moth that's like knitting some stuff. I, I see you all are in need of some uh, swimsuits. Uh, I can make some uh, custom ones uh, for you all for two gold each. It's not... Let me get some measurements and tell me what you need. Flutters up to Sana and gets like a tape measure out and starts uh, wrapping around uh, her. Ah, uh, so uh, you seem like a uh, bikini on you, right? Her face is like red. <laughs> I, 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 I never went swimming um, before. Um, uh, what, what do you think is best? Well, clock wipe. You all are now individually walking out of the like uh, changing rooms. The bottom is kind of like. It's like a like a like a normal like two piece, but it's kind of like frilly, so it's kind of has like a small skirt design, mm, yeah. and then she has like a only button up on the bottom part, kind of like tied up near the bottom of her chest is like a like a Hawaiian shirt, uh -huh. and it's kind of like unbuttoned down the middle too, where it's just a bikini, <laughs> and then she has um like a straw hat on. Pebble, what does your bathing suit look like? She would just get like a one piece that like like the okay. bottom half is just like literally shorts she looks like very uncomfortable she's not used to showing like this much skin like a dark navy blue sort of there's just like a solid color with like a like white trim i guess mm -hmm. also what does your swimsuit look like i imagine it's just like sort of like swim short like trunks and then just like a singlet or something uh probably like darker colors like dark blue i'm wearing from armani uh a vibrant yellow raincoat with uh vibrant yellow trousers and very large wellington boots 
okay. boots that are too big. I see. All right. Okay. So she, she finishes yours and is like, you're sure this is what you want for the beach? Uh, yes, very much okay. so. <laughs> How did she admit that? <laughs> Rand's wearing a two-piece that goes up to her waist at the bottoms. Um, and the other, the top piece covers her entire, her whole chest. No cleavage here. <laughs> and has two straps starting from the same point over her collarbones and the other just over her shoulder mm -hmm. normally. And it's pure, it's completely black. And as you all are kind of walking around the boardwalk, seems like there's some people lining up for this, uh, like, sandcastle competition. Um, a florist that uh, Ramir said was his wife's. There's this guy uh with like uh, a few animals and like cages and it seems like some people are lining up to hold like the different like tropical animals there's a kind of like beachside restaurant instead of a stick i'm just carrying kind of like a uh, like an umbrella uh bolton's gonna lay back on the beach sort of put like his, his spell book like over his face so he can like just have a nap <laughs> Ebel's like standing over balthazar with her head tilted to the side she's like what are you doing Relaxing. Why? What? You guys had your relaxation day yesterday. I'm having mine today. But how is this relaxing? You're laying there, on the ground. There are so many small rocks here. Cello, oh. I got you this. I'm gonna hand him like a red pail, like a sand bucket. Is, what is? Is this for storing the small rocks? A kid with <laughs> some other like, uh, with his own like pail and like shovel and stuff in line for the sandcastle competition is now eyeing Shello's competition. <laughs> I really want Shelly to beat the kid in the competition. I'm just piling up sand inside of the, the bucket. This announcer yeah. uh, guy that seems to be for the sandcastle competition walks by. He's like this um, gnome with like this like slicked back uh, greased hair with like this uh, tan and some sunscreen on his nose. And he's like, everyone here who's who's joining into the sandcastle competition. I mainly juggle. No one else. I, yes. uh, there are gold rewards. I'll, I'll, I'll join. I'll, you know what? Yes, why not? Clock wipe uh, can three of you roll uh, performance checks. 19. Four. That's actually not bad, all things considered. It's like the equivalent of, I'd say... 50 buckets of sand uh, forming a large entrance to a, what could be a castle, but at the moment is simply a very strong foundation. The guy's like, I've never seen a sand castle so big and very uh, modern design, uh, sleek, uh, contemporary. You, sir, you, you've won. Uh, Marin, do you want to describe what your sand castle looks like? Oh yeah, absolutely. So she essentially just made a fort from Skyrim <laughs> with um, high walls that there's no detail. She's not, she don't know how to do all that, but there are at least two watchtowers from the general shape that she could make without tearing the whole thing down. Mm -hmm. and several walls and what look like they could be tents but they're they're a little misshapen likely because she has <laughs> very large hands the gnome walks up to yours and is like oh the historical accuracy the attention to to detail the various rooms and chambers of a stronghold uh, well this is second place to you oh Thank you. Uh, imagine, like, I put a bucket of sand down, but, like, that's kind of broken, and, like, kind of <laughs> half of the top is missing. <laughs> uh, as he walks up to yours, it, like, collapses in on itself, and this becomes, like, a 
the even smaller mound and he's like oh okay next up he goes to the kid that was eyeing shallow earlier and it's a bit like a, a smaller version of Marin is more simplistic uh wall kind of like caved in accidentally and he's like i i like the uh, the the attempt here is very uh, very nice i can see what you are going for third place to you young man and then some other adults who'd enter the competition that made like some kind of bad looking stuff or like kick theirs over and like walk off upset i'm as proud of hers <laughs> this uh this gnome gives to shello a hundred gold oh and these like shrimp shell sort of like gauntlets thank you very much now these are only for playing underwater you hear me because out of water, they're very dangerous as they're made from special shrimp shells that causes air to burst around them as you punch. Giving your unarmed strikes extra 1d4 force damage. Ooh, oh, that could be really ooh. good for me. That could be really good for <laughs> yeah, Sana. Yeah, 100%. Sana just like looks at it, just like, oh, and then it starts patting my castle, trying to rebuild it. <laughs> oh. To Marin for second place, he gives 50 gold. Yeah, nice. And he goes up to the kid with uh, 15 gold and is like, Lud, young boy, where are, your, where are your parents? Uh, I unfortunately can't give you your reward uh, without your parents around. And the kid kind of like looks up and he's like, uh, I don't have any parents. And the oh. guy's like, oh, uh, okay, I guess uh, runner up. Looking around, everyone else already left. Uh, you, girl with the terrible one, here, hands you 15 gold, Sana. I like to imagine it hits my castle and breaks it again. <laughs> oh. yeah. thank, thank, thank you. Oh, Mian's oh. gonna go up to the kid and hand him 15 gold. He's like, oh, uh, thank you, uh, lady. Uh, I like your swimsuit. Thank you. You did very well with your sand castle. I don't, I, yours is better, but uh, thank you. <laughs> I have such so a soft sweet. spot for kids. <laughs> I don't. I have to get back to my hotel room now. Maybe I'll see you around. He sort of like starts skipping off. It is a hotel way, huh? Can, can Sana attempt to remake a sandcastle? Yeah, go make another performance check. <laughs> you better get an extra 20. 10. 10, you build it up. You add a little bit uh, like towers on the top, but I thought it just kind of looks like a sand bucket just with like some shapes on top of it um, my kingdom you, was supreme you uh if you want to make it a bit bigger without it falling apart you could add water um it packs it together easier that's that's how they used to make uh bricks for buildings so. never mind I, you, I thought what you're helping me well get back here <laughs> We're gonna build this kingdom mighty strong, you and me. Like like this. And she she does it. She shows Sana how to mix the sand and water. And it packs together much like a dough would. Where did you learn to do this? This is fancy stuff right here. Well, I it's what uh in history a lot of people a lot of species would do to make buildings they would r get mud or sand or dirt or sand sometimes if they could clay and mix it with water uh because in the daylight once it drips it becomes stronger and creates a good structure um Marion kind of just shuts up after that she's you just <laughs> after... uh i I guess I know some things. Um, uh, Sana's gonna just like head pat her. <laughs> I want to see the animals. I also want to see the animals. Could I, I like? See if I can get those damn gloves. <laughs> yeah. You walk up to this guy. He's a kind of larger human man. Uh, he's very hairy, long black ponytail, uh, put back very greasy, and um. He has a few cages around him. There's like toucans, there's like dart frogs, some like ferrets. There's this uh, small little almost like rat-like thing with like spiky hairs, almost like a, like a little rat porcupine thing. And it's, it's like black and yellow. It's called a 
Lowland Street Tenrec. Is it a real thing? Yeah, it's a real thing. What the fart? Ew, stop. I thought you were describing like a phantom. What in the name of God? <laughs> oh my God, it's like a chicken adult. rat. It chicken is a chicken rat. rat. Yeah. It does. It looks like a chicken rat. Jesus. Chicken rat. <laughs> and uh, there's currently a family that's like holding a kinkajou right now, uh, which is like this like monkey lemur thing that's kind of it's like brown. Yo. Aww. Okay, that guy's so funky. Cute. I like that little thing. There's also a few, uh, like, five or so uh, just, like, empty cages uh, with some, like, hay and stuff inside them. And the guy sees you all come up. This other family is now leaving. Then the Kinkajau is, like, jumping back on this guy's shoulder. I got some exotic animals here. Once in a lifetime opportunity to hold some of these little guys. Uh, it'll be uh, too silver. Oh, just to... Uh... Just hold them. <laughs> An intrusive thought. <laughs> what? How much to buy them? <laughs> well, that's that's what I wanted to do. I wanted a little. I want a little buddy. Well, I will pay the silver. He takes the silver. And he's like, I do. Which animal do you want to hold? Balthazar just looks at Marin. Go on. Uh, uh this spiky rat. Oh, the the Tenric. Yes. He picks it up. Uh, it's it's really small. He like hands it out to you, and he's like, "Be careful with it. Its spikes can can hurt you." I I, I trained him uh, well, though, to not injure uh, anyone. Just be careful with your grasp. Mirren is going to cup her hands to to and hold it in her hands. He like drops it down into your hands. And this thing is like uh, turns around, looks up at you, and its like head is like shaking, and it looks like it's like tweaking out, making like squeaking noises. Mirren looks absolutely in love with this little thing. <laughs> Man, As she just like holds like it dying. up. Dying. Why is it doing that? I wouldn't think something as small as ever seen a seven foot tall orc lady. Oh, this little guy just does that. Oh, okay. Poor baby. I was like scratching his head. He's like, anyone else want to hold an animal here? I, 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 I'd like to hold the the kinky one. That one. Huh? Oh. The uh, Kinkajo like goes like behind his head, like grabbing onto his hair, and like is like now hiding from you. Uh, sure. You have two silver. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she hands over two silver pieces. He snatches the thing from his head, and it's like grabbing onto his hair, and it's like, oh, come on now, and it's like looking at the guy, like shaking his, shaking its head side to side, <laughs> and he's like, no, no, let, let the lady hold you. Puts it onto your what? shoulder, and it starts like screaming in your face. Ah, why does he, why, why is he doing that? Those why is he doing that? Arm. Why is he doing ah, that? Why, 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 <laughs> the handler takes it back and is like, No, it, it didn't really seem to like you, but, uh, this, no why, refunds. Ow, ow. I just wanted to make a friend. Oh, sorry, these things have uh, been a little bit spooked lately. I don't really know why. First boulder leaves, and now this guy doesn't even like me. <laughs> Man's just having a great time with her little chicken rat. In her well, hands, he, the chicken rat is rubbing. not having a good time. <laughs> yeah, the chicken rat is tweaking out of his hey, mind. It's not having a bad time because of her. So, at this point, the two cans are like flying up in the air, like as if it's like trying to escape. And he's like, "Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa!" He like pulls it back down. And is like, "All right, time for you to go back in the, the cage." So he's putting uh, it in I the cage. I don't like, like the way you're treating these animals. They uh, don't look very happy at all. Oh, they're, they're fine. They've just been acting a little bit weird lately. I can take this one back from you. And he like grabs the uh, the ten no. wreck from you and like, he, like puts it in, a, in oh. another cage and he has like some like spines in like his hand. And he's like, ouch, like rips them out. Chicken rat. You don't happen to have any uh, uh, tortoises. Huh. He's looking back at like some of the empty cages and he's like, no, I don't think I do. Uh, you said the animals are acting strange. Has something weird been going on lately? No, it might just be, uh, the weather or something, uh, you know. It slaps, like, the cage the Tenrec is in, and it starts freaking out and running around in circles. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Can I do an insight check on him saying that? Yeah, what are you, what are you trying to see with your insight check? I want to see if if there is actually something wrong with the animals or if he is just constantly mistreating them. So yeah, you can either make an insight check on him or you can uh, make like a animal handling check uh, just to like examine the animals. Oh, nice. A seven. Oh, 
7. Honestly, looking at this thing, it looks kind of like weird and scrunkly. This, this, as far as you know, this is normally what they scrunkly. do. Scrunkly? I want the chicken rot. Oh my god. You, Mar Marin, how are we going to keep it alive? Oh, oh I, I take care of it. What if we go into battle? It's fine. I have pockets. What if we go underwater? Put it in a pocket? What if Balthazar Ooh. explodes us again? What if we're in a cave-in again? <laughs> no, it'd be fine. I'll take care of it. Marin is visibly upset. If the rest of the gang wants to eat... I would love to get some food. You guys uh, head over to the restaurant. It's at like the end of like uh, the boardwalk. This like pier. It has a straw roof. Um, some walls that don't go all the way up. Kind of giving this place an open air feel to get that ocean breeze as you dine in. There's table service as well as a bar. Lots of like uh, like lanterns inside. The, like a uh, colorful like paper lanterns and such. A waiter shows you to some seats uh hands you a a paper menu and is like welcome in uh, i hope you all are, are hungry we have this uh new menu made up by the by the chef uh, just just last night i recommend the uh crab cake sliders personally uh, they're my favorite uh, we also have a bar that can make any drink you want i'll give you a second to look over the menu and i'll be back right with you and, like he pours scanning some water for each of you with a pitcher scanning the menu do i happen to see any owlbear nuggets or oh God, otherwise owlbear there's some appetizers and some like specials which are like uh full courses so there's um a lychee salad uh white bean dip ahi tuna bites yam crostini with goat cheese the specials include whole jerk wings avocado wrap top sirloin with truffle compound butter crab cake sliders her baked flounder elderflower vinaigrette salad and a seafood boil that all sounds actually delicious. Oh my god. The jerk whole wing sounds really good. Each appetizer is seven silver. Each special is two gold, except for the seafood boil, which is six gold. And it seems to be like a, a bigger thing meant for more people. Yeah. Oof. I'm I'm struck between the whole jerk the whole jerk wings and the um top sirloin. You can just make a decision. You're not actually eating it. <laughs> no, I, <Hello. laughs> sorry, sorry. I thought you were Listen, immediately going for a children's menu about what? what our characters would eat in canon. Okay. Very important. I was just making a joke while while holding the the menu very firmly. Mm. Uh, stroke my aunt's chin and <laughs> say, "Excuse me, waiter." Uh, what is your slop like? Oh, we have a <laughs> fine dining place. We don't have any <laughs> slop. And you have no gruel? N no. I see. Uh... If you like uh, that sort of thing, uh, maybe the white bean dip? You could just eat the dip by itself. You wouldn't happen to have... Uh, any any dirt or rocks? <laughs> I get it. You're, you're messing with me. Uh, uh, there's sand. Plenty of sand outside. Is that uh, to go? You can. Yeah, you can go get some sand. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just Shallow? staring at the waiter, just like he like giving trying to give the impression like he's serious. I like to put he's down my menu. Kind of confused. His, eyes, Shello, his no, eyes kind of no. twitching. Shello, sit. I'm, wa sit I'm down. walking out. Sit down. No. Getting a mouthful <laughs> of sand and <laughs> coming back <laughs> in. Oh, oh my looks god. Miran's like uh, got a head and hands. I'm gonna like I'm gonna like hold out my hand to kind of like shake the waiter's hand and like slip him like a gold. Oh, <laughs> and just like mouth sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Ed. Oh, what can I get you all? The sand is very dry. Guys, <laughs> it's, have you looked at the menu? Yeah, they had oh, no shot. Always Wait. watches, huh? What the fuck, dude? Oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, thank you for that. I'll have an Welcome. avocado wrap, please, from this normal menu. Avocado wrap? <laughs> That's one of my other favorites besides the crab cake. 
All right, you have a lot of favorite Good vegetarian uh, option. No, everything's my favorite. I love this place. Uh, no, I, I, I'm not. She's lying out of her ass. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is this is a hospitality worker saying he loves this place. Can I detect thoughts? Oh, well, that also works. Uh, <laughs> yeah, his, his surface thoughts are just like I fucking hate that avocado wrap. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say like the I was worried for a workers. Minute. The workers will say they like it in front of customers, and then say it in private that they don't like it. I don't believe he'd have anything to do with the menu. I think we'd have to seek up management or something. Sana's looking at just I thinking don't... back to like, like uh, what uh, Shallow was saying last night. It kind of gave her a spook. Like, probably coincidence. Man, 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 look at, like, I just like kind of like trail my finger down the the first letters. I I. I saw. I noticed it too. Noticed what? No. What you guys uh, talking about? Who's really no, cheap just... here? I thought you'd like the yam. Uh, it yeah. has this like still ominous music playing as well, and it's oh. getting louder. Oh, I just not noticed. You know, I didn't <laughs> notice that until you said that. Then the ominous music really came through. As soon as you said that, there was like a rush of wind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, not, it's like a weird um, noise. It's got louder. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, what can I get you all? I I guess I'll get the uh, top sirloin. Oh, uh, that one's great. I want to take this surface off again. <laughs> can only do that once a day. Oh, fuck. So cool do how you, he knew that. Do you have any more of that sand? <laughs> oh my god. Is anyone else getting anything? <laughs> just a, a salad, I guess. Okay, the, the, the elderflower vinaigrette. Uh, I'll put this in. Uh, oh. Anything else? Yeah. You know what? I will get the same. Write this down and walks off. Guys. Guys, I think I don't like it here. Do you not like the sand? Let's wait till we're outside just just in I case i don't think we should eat the food I, they don't have any slop i think it would be worth looking at because i want to see if there's anything off i i don't think we should eat it but i mm. think that it would be good to check first just to see if there's any sort of indication because that menu was very, very suspicious. I make just like a general look around. Uh, yeah, make a reception check. Okay. Are you looking for anything specific or? Uh, just kind of the the the, the vibe. Uh, mm. other patrons, things like that. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Uh, you notice it, it? There's not a lot of people in there. There's like two other tables. Uh, not a lot of people. Um, out on the boardwalk or, or beach either it, it this place seems a little bit like uh like you'd expect more people around the beach like a sunny day like today but uh the, the people that are around are seem to be like enjoying themselves like happily playing in the water happily like eating uh some like uh, uh food they seem to be enjoying it um and uh you actually see Tic Tac and ramir walking in and they they spot you all and like wave and it was like hey, mind if we join you please Please. Tic Tac has this like uh, big like fruity tiki drink. Uh, Ramir has this like Bloody Mary, and they're both like drinking it, and they like like sit down at the table, and it's like, oh, what have you all been up to? I ate sand. Uh, that's I'm nice. An avocado wrap. Ramir's like, we've just been enjoying ourselves uh, at the beach. Uh, we came here for some drinks. We we saw you all. Have you guys been noticing any strange? happenstances occurrences just anything odd around lately i guess it is a little bit weird that there's not that many people here but uh, i guess with the coliseum uh, uh, canceled maybe tourism went down hey Mate, that makes sense yes can i see how many of the staff are looking at us uh yeah make a perception check while he's doing that, I'm just gonna like kind of like do the same oh. thing I did to Marin, where like I like like pointed at like the first letters and dragged my finger down on the menu. 
Balzar, you do not see anyone really looking at you except like uh, what you uh, perceive as some like normal glances, you know? Uh, the waiter occasionally like looks over at your table to see how you're doing. Uh, as you like, uh, it seems to be like waiting on all the other tables. Uh, so there's like a couple here by himself and then there's like one person manning the bar and then it's, you hear some sounds of like the kitchen, but you're not noticing anything strange. They bug people, um, they see that and they're like, Oh, that's a that's a bit weird. Uh, I never heard of a lychee salad, but you know, sounds good. Uh, no, that's. I'm gonna put my arm on the letters over the first couple, <laughs> trying to block most of the menu. Oh, this this part. Ramirez like, oh, I see. Always watches. Oh, that's a that's a funny thing you noticed. <laughs> uh, oh, Pebbles finally like seeing it. Wait, what? What in the hells? What? Why? I feel like we sh we we should all kind of be uh, on guard. No, oh, this is a this is a vacation town. What? I mean, what could be wrong? There's I mean, there's been some. You never know what's hiding behind. Odd these things happening, smile. and like as more happen, you know, it kind of like adds on top of each other. And I mean, um, Ramirez like I don't even know what we're waiting around for. Shouldn't we get get, get moving on whatever you guys came here for? Yeah. 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 I don't know why we wasted the whole night and almost the whole day. Well, uh, Tic Tac had you? some business to to attend to. Tic Tac's we, like, I didn't have any business. Uh, what? Uh, Ramir had some business to attend to. That's we figured we would just wait till the next day to go over the the blueprints and plans. Ramir's like, oh, right, what so business do I have? With with your what? wife? I'm not married. What? You t what are you I don't, talking? I, you I don't have a wife. When when we got off uh, the, a few the boat at the, uh, at the dock. a couple of years ago, but I've never, I've never been married. married. Well, I know, at the dock, you mentioned you had a wife who had come here to, for a floral shop, and that's and you got out of touch a little bit because she was so focused on the shop here. I and miss my wife. There's a floral here. shop in town, but uh, I've never dated anyone here. I don't know what you're talking about. You must be mixing me up. I'm no. That's the issue. I am not. We were all Someone there. Someone with your you. precise likeness. Ex excuse me, Marin. Yes. I understand if you miss your wife, but you don't need to bring <laughs> others into it. No, no I'm. <clears throat> yeah, I remember. You don't I remember us talking, and the, the rock one said they <laughs> they missed a wife and they didn't have one. Uh, no, 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 no. But I only said that because you said you missed your wife. Why? Well, no, I don't have a wife. No, but I don't have a wife. You're hey. the one. We both don't Why have did... wives, but I'm, I'm not um, interested. Not... I'm sorry. Are they are they both drinking the drinks? <laughs> yeah. Ah. I, I frankly I don't think yeah, that I has anything to, magic. to do with it, but I do appreciate the gusto. Um, I would yeah, like to use detect magic. detect magic or magic um, awareness. Magic Sorry. awareness, yeah. Uh, you're picking up the uh, magic items you all have. You you get some magic glimmers from these new shrimp gauntlets Cello has. Uh, the stuff you're used to seeing on your allies uh, doesn't seem to be anything magical. Other than that, really, in the vicinity, they're like a, in a sixty-foot radius. The key cards that you had for the hotel—they seem to be uh, magical. Okay. Other than that, nothing. Okay. Right, guys, I'm starting to get a bit uncomfortable. Can we? Can we? Can we go back and get our stuff? The waiter arrives with your food, and the chef has come out to carry some uh, plates to help. Uh, the chef, who's like this uh, yanti, has a bit of a, a gut on him, some like kind of dirty white uh clothes like he got some like food stuff on it uh, so i have uh, two salads here uh, i've got the avocado wrap a lot of veggies uh, for you all but then i got the steak i assume that's for the uh, gruff guy here looking at balthazar and putting it down in front of him may i uh inquire i know we've we've asked a lot about uh where people are looking are are they even looking at us are they looking elsewhere they're, look, they're looking at you when they talk to you, okay. looking at you in the eyes and such. Do you want to make an insight check on the chef? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what for, but I feel I feel some suspicion towards the young man. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, I mean, he seems normal. He seems just like he's uh, passionate about food and he wants to see your old faces when he delivers it to you. I, it, Why it, is it that when something fuckery happens, we all get low rolls? <laughs> it seems like this guy has really creeped 
uh, Pebble out, coming out at like the worst time after having that conversation with the other two bugs and uh, seeing the menu. And she's, she like tugs on Marin's jacket and she's like, Marin, I want to go. Marin, I'm scared. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to be really, really honest here. I don't know if it is. We'll, we'll figure it out. We always do. We'll be okay. May I ask uh, if you've met anyone uh, new or strange recently? Tic Tac is like, <laughs> well, other than you all know. What are our names? Shello, uh, Pebble, or you call her Rock Lady. <laughs> Oh, there's Marin Balsasana. You call her uh, Owl One, Keeper of the Owl, right? What day is it? Uh. Do you want to make a nature check or survival, either one? I would what? like to. A nature check for what day it is is crazy. Fuck! <laughs> With advantage, oh, right. because it's literally the day of the week. I assume. Are, are you asking? To see if an unnatural amount of time has that, passed. That's what I. Noticed. That's what I assumed. It does not oh. seem like an unnatural amount of time has passed. Like the lotus yeah, eaters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what. Is I that was also like what you were thinking? For. It, it, it's my my mind <laughs> obviously went to time loop generally speaking first, but then I was like, well, it happens. I love in that the time. same kind of gay. That's can awesome. Then, um, can Sana look around at everybody's food, including your own, just like if there's anything unnatural, uncanny, an eyeball in the steak? Guess, uh, make it make it like an investigation check. With a low roll, because that's that's the theme today. <laughs> Less than a ten two. or a ten, 14. exactly. It all looks delicious. So I, I didn't answer the question. You can still have yeah. eyeballs that are delicious. <laughs> yeah. It does not look odd. We yeah. have all of our stuff back at home. So if I perhaps had components to cast a spell, would I not be able to do that right now because of I don't have a U leaf. I imagine you would have kept your holy symbol to cast spells. Okay, I think um, me and Balthazar are like the only ones fully okay. powered here. <laughs> oh my god, we completely forgot we have the other event tonight at the hotel. I'm Got so sorry is. here. Let, let, let me pay you and we will Event, we'll... event at the ho hotel? What are, what are you... I've, I've never yeah, heard we, of this. We, your we, food just we, got we, here. We, you paid for it. We, I know, I know. We're so forgetful because we're on holiday. I'm I, so sorry. We, so we'll we'll pay for the food. Is... The rocks aren't throwing themselves. Wait, 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 wait. If we get, wait, hold on. I'm like, uh, Pebble is like, I'm, I'm really sorry about this. Can I, can we have to-go boxes? That, like, I'm really sorry. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He, the waiter, like, kind of brings him some to-go boxes, like some cardboard. Chef reaches out to uh, grab it, and then his uh, arm seems to like twitch and like point like behind you all and then he like grabs it and like moves it down he's like oh so sorry uh, i have this uh, some sort of condition that's been acting up uh, uh, like uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is it's my my arm has been twitching a bit the boxes that the waiter brought kind of get knocked on the floor from him with his arm like twitching as he reached out to grab it and he's like moving his arm down he's so Man's also going to like reach over to pick up the boxes you know to help is he doing anything else? Is he still trying to point or? Uh, it seems his arm is trying to move up and is in a pointing formation, but he's like moving it down. And the waiter is now on the floor and he's like, oh, terribly sorry for this. I'm going to look where he's pointing real quick. Yeah, make a perception it... check. Okay. It's like behind you all. Like, uh, like there's a booth behind you all that's kind of pointing over you oh, all to that. Seven. Seven, you look behind you. Can we do like an assisted? Balsar, do you want to make a perception check then? We got a good perception roll. Looking behind you, you don't see anything. So, what do they see that we don't? Because that's a little worrying. Miran's going to continue helping while reassuring. You know, it's it's okay. You know, it it happens. But she's nodding as well. His arm has gone back to normal, and he and he's like, oh, I'm "Very sorry. I need. I should probably go to the doctor to get that checked out. Uh, maybe just stress. Uh, but I'm not gonna bother you all with that." Yeah, we'll we'll try this food back at our room, and then we'll come back tomorrow and let you oh, know. Oh yes, come back like tomorrow. It. Let me know how, how you liked it. Uh, we will order some more. The, the chef is now going back, uh, uh, checking up on some other tables. I like smile at him and like nod and stuff. I'm gonna try the rest so of it. Okay, so it would have been six in total. Six gold. Yeah, six gold in total. Right. I'll just pay it. Now that we are all leaving the restaurant, uh, 
I'd like to perhaps go on a little shallow wander if anyone wants to join. I'm coming. I would. Yeah, I would love I'll to join also you. Also join. I, I want to go. I would like to look for the for the man. I want to go to the mm-hmm. alleyway. What in the hells was that? I got a nine. Anyone and you, don't, else? you don't see him in the alley that you saw him in. You don't see him by like the surf shop or anything. But the surf shop's still open. The shop's still open. It's getting to around like uh, probably like sunset in like an hour or two. You I... said before that the deaf man was being shooed away by someone with a broom. It was the surf shop uh, outside of the, surf, the surf, shop. surf shop. I'd like to go to the surf sh- sh- surf shop. Person kind of running the surf shop he has a uh, bit of a tan and like sunglasses you see he has like different uh surfboards for sale uh some like floaties uh sunscreen and he has uh some potions of water breathing they're labeled as and he has some things like some jars of things called water walking grease that are like one-time use uh, slick for the bottom of your shoes that allow you to walk on water for a minute and i uh perhaps inspect them to see if they are water breathing potions yeah make an arcana check ah yes three three they look like regular (laughs) potions you but you don't really are used to telling potions apart i see um (laughs) i'll i assume the guy behind the counter is the same one who had the broom yeah yeah you recognize him as as that guy yo what's up name's botez owner of surf shop here yo what is up uh, you are the, the wielder of the the brush, right? The, I'm the wielder of the of the board on the waves, if that's what you mean. I I had seen you not I'm last night. I'm the god night. of the ocean, that's what they call me. Excuse me, I'm speaking. Sorry. I had seen you not but last night with uh, a long handle with bristles on the end. Oh, you saw that? Sorry. A beggar is outside. Uh, I don't like him in front of my shop. It's going to get money from my customers. You wouldn't happen to have, have seen him around uh, today, would uh, you? Hopefully he's skipped town by now. That's what he's been saving up for, he says. I don't know where he, he goes, though. He's not uh, around here at a particular time or... Well, if he is, frequency. I'm going to shoo him away again. But hopefully he learned his lesson. I see. Uh, what don't all... mess with the master of the waves. I understand. Not even a wave can mess with me. Oh, I'd like to wave my hand at him. Don't do that. Well, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> is, there, is there anything else you know about the the man? I don't know why you care about this homeless guy so much. He's got no hearing in his ears. Right. He can hear in his head, though, yes? I imagine he has thoughts, probably of some fucking crazy ones with the things he's been saying. You haven't noticed anything strange around here? Strange? Like, apart, well, from, apart from the waves. Been getting less customers lately, I guess. Uh, hopefully as day still isn't going the way of the Gogus coast. I, I would sure hope not. What is a Gogan coast? I love that he agrees before asking what it is. Gogus coast is this, uh, this vacation spot on the... The west coast of, of Deesland, a uh, bit of a rundown version of Hasday Salil, but uh, lately I've been feeling with the lack of our customers, uh, we're going to end up the same way. You wouldn't happen to know who runs the the flower shop, would you? A flower shop? Uh, yeah, we have a flower shop in town, but uh, it's, it's just been vacant for a while, I don't know. There was never an occupant at any time? Not that I can think of. Do you think perhaps a small ant boy could run it? I don't... Uh, you'd have to talk to someone, not me. I don't own the place. Who who does own the place? I don't know. <laughs> Looks a little confused. <laughs> uh, so you've never heard of anyone even just, like, scoping out the place, maybe? I saw this uh, blue beetle guy go go there last night, uh, but uh, I don't think he owns the place. I, the first time I see him around, uh, I pass by that place every day. As far as I can tell, it's vacant. Okay, thank you for letting us know. One, yeah. one, one more question. I'm going Columbo on his ass. <laughs> yeah. This, the blue beetle, 
he didn't enter the building. Oh, uh, I think he did. I see. Did you did you see him exit the building? No, but uh, I mean, I've been in my shop today, and I only walked by briefly last night. We uh, bumped into him, or or perhaps oh, yeah, someone they must who have left the building. Yes. So, as your as your answer. Strange I see. Thank you're asking you. Me. I very I don't understand. I'm excuse me. My gnarl is wonderful. No. I don't understand how buildings work. You see. Are you guys buying it, anything or? No. Okay. Just here to chat. Perhaps I could purchase that fine uh, broom from you. You want? I need my broom. It's not for sale. I can sell you a surfboard. No. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Oh, bye. We Thank you very much. We should probably get our stuff and check out that place, huh? So, yeah, you, you guys go back up, get changed back into your armor and everything. Uh, are you doing anything now? Uh, I think I we wanna, should go see that flower shop. I want to look around the room first. So there was that little kid at the, at the beach who said they didn't have parents mm -hmm. and then said they were going back to their hotel room. Mm-hmm. And then said that they'd probably see us later. I'm worried that there's a child in the room. Yeah, hiding somewhere. No. Okay, ceiling, I mean, you find mirrors. You can, you can make you can make your investigation check to look around for a little kid in your room. Okay, thanks. Oh, cool. Three. Yeah, you're, you're turning a place upside down. You can't find anything. The room's upside down. The door's on the ceiling. I I think we should go check out that floral shop there's there. it's just not right it doesn't make sense and i'm a bit worried Something's that some wrong, creature maybe snuck along yeah but what creature would be able to impersonate them so well that we wouldn't notice and tic tac wouldn't notice and no one would notice i don't know and that's what worries me yeah Okay. We can go there. You all know where the florist is, so you just uh, head back that direction. Uh, now it's getting to be sundown. The uh, sun kind of glistens off the waves. Uh, very beautiful sight, but you're distracted by going to this florist. Then once you're outside uh, looking in uh, through the windows, you see all the uh, flowers inside uh, blooming and uh, you know, like lanterns or lights or anything on uh door seems locked all right well i think i'm ready to go home i'm scared and i want to not be here no what we we have to properly check it out door hey, is locked hey, you know, is it okay if uh um those those gauntlets you got um my um, gauntlets the, the for the sand castle the the sand castle I built. The, I, <laughs> um, is is it okay if if I if I borrow them? Oh sh sure yeah. Oh, oh oh that was that was that was easy. Oh, well, thank you. Enjoy. So we're standing in front of the locked floral shop. There's um, other businesses that are open uh, nearby. This one um, seems like it's it's not open. You check the handle; it's it's locked. I'll just say that off off the bat. Um, Thank you. Although you notice that some of the other shops are also seem to be uh, closed, despite the hours and the door saying they should be open for like a couple more hours. The only shops that you really see that have been open throughout the day are the ones that you've been to, and like a, a couple more just like gift shop, touristy sort of places you have noticed throughout the day that there are some shops more than usual that are closed maybe just because tourism is down or what but you're not you're not really sure uh, we don't see the uh the blue beetle guy around do we after you left the restaurant um he said he'd um go get the uh blueprints for you uh so him and tic tac has have uh, left your uh, your group here right I feel like we should go to the. Uh, does before. someone not have a uh, thieves tool or like thieves? I'm tool pretty sure we had a huge debacle. Yeah, because I, I was pretty sure it was, I couldn't remember <laughs> if it was Bob Star yeah. or um, Jello, but I I remember that's definitely not me. I wouldn't. Too. I wouldn't thieve. 
Why? <laughs> no, he would never. Uh, He's killed people and taken nudge, what used nudge, to be theirs. Nudge, but it's no longer theirs. Nudge, nudge to the person who has thieves' tools proficiency. Hey, there's a mm. locked door. <laughs> I don't know. Not a single fucking money. Well, I said, I mean, I can break it down. I guess. I don't want to get in trouble by whatever. I'm gonna look at here. both of us. Gonna look at Marin with a smug face. Like, what's the magic word? Oh my god! Marin's gonna I... pull out her helmet. <laughs> Open. The I'll do it, but you need to be better at manners. <laughs> Guys, we're in a haunted town. Can you just open the fucking door, please? I'm scared. <laughs> I got my pink stool and pick the lock. I think this is a learning lesson for both of you. I, I I'm gonna lock. stay facing like the rest of the town while they're doing this. As some people walk by looking at you strangely. You uh, plus three, so that'd be 21. <laughs> okay, yeah, you. Uh, easily enough, you very simple lock. You just like put this thing in here, fiddle for a few seconds, and then it like slowly creaks open. Dead bodies. Does it smell rancid? It smells quite nice, actually. It smells very floral. Oh, <laughs> it's almost like uh, it's a florist. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. yeah, one that's been abandoned. The flowers gonna eat us in there. And I walk so in. we're stepping inside. He was all going to stand outside. Pebbles trembling like a, like a leaf and uh, barely managing to follow, but still like nearly tripping over herself. I want to stick near the entrance more. Because, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to look around, see if there's anything that would be a bit odd yeah. for a abandoned florist. I want to generally look around for plant life. Okay, so Balsar, you make an investigation check. Marin, you make a nature check. Okay, dope. I'm just so gonna well for me. follow them around. You motherfucker! It's so close to an at twenty. Ate all the. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of flowers in here that look pretty nice. Uh, there's some um, like kind of big leaves that look very like tropical, and uh, some like big trees in the back uh, of these and, and, and such. With your twelve, um, as far as you can tell, this this seems like a normal shop. Nothing you're really placing. Seems wouldn't see any footsteps of it. possibly a certain beetle-sized foot. Well, the floor in here is like tile, so you're not really picking up any uh, footprints or anything. If there's some like money you see in the register, there's like seven gold in there. Um, you see some? Are you taking it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there doesn't seem to be any signs of like uh, damage to this place. Any? Uh, there's no like dust on the tables, stuff like that. Are there any hatches mm. or rugs? There are some like rugs on the ground. You look under them. And doesn't seem to be anything strange about it. Hey guys, this might be just a silly uh, overthought on my part, but what if a guy did have a wife, and she was like erased from existence or something and like no one remembers her now in just yeah. in less than 24 hours i don't know man i might be overthinking things it's kind of freaky i i, I don't think that's anything. possible considering that we remember him telling us he had a wife pebble is like pulling pulling to the other two like towards the door and she's like guys i don't think there's anything here i just want to sleep on this before we have a long day tomorrow okay is there, is there a back door <sighs> There's a no. back door, yeah. Also, I'm gonna I check if it's you, were the, Did the plants look like they were like growing everywhere, or like they were confined, like in? They're in like pots or and things. Um, the, they, they don't so look like too. They haven't grown out of them at all. Um, the back door actually has a few crates uh, in front of it. It seems it's not really like used. There's kind of like storage stuff shoved back there. We have someone who's very strong in our team. Shall well, I, I got it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> Shella's still outside. I was gonna turn and say, Sana, get over here. Yello, you doing okay? I am watching for faces and for death. Shall I make a perception check? Oh, Don't miss the death faces. People are kind of starting to leave the beach. There's some people actually, like, uh, like two groups of people kind of showing up, having some, like, uh, drinks on the beach and, and stuff. Um, you don't see anything strange. No faces. Um, Marin's gonna start moving these boxes, and and checking them. Are are they like, just like wooden crates? Or... Yeah, they seem to be wooden crates, and they have uh, some of them have like bags of seeds in them. Uh, some have like tools. It seems to use are... to like trim plants and stuff. 
are these seeds labeled at all? Yeah, so th there's uh, names of like different flowers. There's one that's painting on the on the packaging of like this yellow flower, and it has uh, writing on that says it, it uses like a medicinal flower to heal people. There's another mm -hmm. one that's this like green and yellow spotted uh, plant with like large leaves that it says there's like a little warning on it. It says it's like poisonous and cause paralysis for five minutes. And there's just other like various labeled uh, flowers and, and plants that don't really stick out to you as anything special. And these are just the seeds. Are there any like you, you see some already grown yeah plants. you see some potted plants that match, of, that match these two and some of the other seeds here you see like three different vases with these like yellow flowers um that appear to here heal like a tiny bit of hp and there's these like uh spotted plants that kind of have like uh some like various warnings around them to make sure that they're not ingested well i mean one second, let me check if I've got shit to carry stuff. Why does it do that? I is did. doing that? I don't know if it's just my audio, but like, you is know, that why the, is that why gradually the, the, the ambient phase, has yeah. been louder than the? Yeah. He's doing it in like scary pause. It's honestly right. pretty horrifying. It's, it's like, like a good job. Yeah, are we, are we noticing like, how while we've been in up. here, it's the ominous is Fucking getting louder now. <laughs> and the yeah, but oh, like specifically off. the like cool you know elevator music is now almost not yeah audible. It, but it, it's almost more it's almost more unnerving the fact that it's still there because yeah like, just really... like way in the back yeah it's yeah anyways i'm gonna tear up a little bit more of this bedroll because mm -hmm. i only used part of it before i didn't use all of it okay there's still some fabric left and um i'm i'm going to pick the flowers of the the yellow ones the medicinal ones just mm -hmm. with her hands and and wrap them up in a piece of fabric and okay. then she's going to tear off another piece and come over to these poisonous ones and not using her actual hands she's gonna have you ever grabbed like food with a tortilla yeah that she's gonna basically do that with the, the yeah, with so the poisonous you, you plants get, and wrap them up so that three, she doesn't touch them directly. You get three of these yellow flowers. Uh, if you want to add them to your notes, they heal three HP by eating them. Okay, and then what do the poison? The ones? poison ones. Um, the leaves are pretty big. If they're just like even slightly ingested, they can cause paralysis for five minutes. So you get like one like of the larger leaves. Okay. Can I? Maybe look into the sky. Yeah, make a uh, perception check. Can I go outside and get advantage on that? <laughs> sure, shall I roll with advantage? Uh, I was gonna like, like look up with him. <laughs> oh, the advantage was helpful. <laughs> I got a 17. <laughs> Looking up at the sky, you see some stars. Um, you see many moons. The big pallid moon, uh, nothing looks strange. Which which moon is uh, clearest? Than I... Well, the pallid moon is always the most clear. Cause it's the yeah, other than that one, that one's fucking boring. I want I want some juicy stuff. I want stuff. basic knowledge. He wants in depth. I want to gain the deepest knowledge of space. Peanut just like unravels like a huge like mural of scroll. just like all the moons yeah, like that a, he, yeah, he wrote scroll. down. <laughs> like the length of his room. Like mm, which moon? <laughs> you see you see one moon uh, that you spot as Glan TL forty three. Uh, Glen TL 43. Yeah. Glen TL 33 is looking really good tonight, ain't it? I, I don't know. Um, oh. I don't like that. I think the rest of you should keep looking. I didn't like... There it goes. Okay. Never mind. So, it's bad. you all suddenly, so. suddenly oh. start to, uh, feel a little bit more tired than usual. Uh, oh, some of you are kind of like hurting even then you notice that there's some like blood on the floor oh. and what? there's some blood on yourselves as you all have wounds on you that will pebble balzar and marin marin what? there's oh, right. scorch marks on the floor the rug is kind of burnt up some of the flowers are like crumpled up uh balsar you've used a spell slot what? jesus uh marin you've taken eight damage 
Wait, which okay. spell slot? You you've used a third level spell slot, Balsazar. Uh, I didn't fireball. Pebble, uh, you've taken five damage. Balthazar, did you... What What just happened? I I don't know. What about me and uh, Jello? You two uh, just turn around, you see all this, and uh, you both are fine. You're outside. You didn't, you, you didn't notice this. None of you inside notice anything happen. Can I use magic awareness? If I look through the door, I don't see, just like casually just see them. You see, you see them with blood all over them, wounds on them. Oh. They're like tired. You see a lot of the plants are burnt up, the scorch marks on, on the ground. Don't come in here. Just is something wrong. I'm going to use. I'm going to really quick cast bless on all three of us. Marin, with your uh, magic awareness, you don't get anything new. Fuck. Uh, I want to again look around. Make and see check. if see if other people are about. Ooh, eleven. Eleven. There's some people walking around, just kind of minding their day. You see a uh, a little band uh, with some guy playing the uh, the steel drums and uh, uh, some guy on guitar. And then there's like this um, yeah. bongos that are like next to a chair that's empty. Question. So, I see all the people around. Obviously, bongo player's gone. Um, are we still like within vision of the surf shop? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit down the street. You see it down there. Surf shop's still open. Right? Yeah. And the restaurant's still open. Yeah. Pebble holds up her her like turtle shell, uh, like shield, and she's like, Marin Balthazar, I think we should get in a circle, backs against each other. She's preparing to react, uh, with, I guess preparing a dodge action would be what it is. Mm -hmm. I think you guys should get out of the room. We need to... Marin? What should we do? I'm scared. Can I... Door. Can I, um, put my hand, see if I can put up against the glass, or if it, like, goes through, like, an illusion? Yeah, just put your hand up to the glass. I can feel glass, nothing yeah. weird. Uh, I'm it's... shimmying towards the door, hoping... Well, I'm assuming the other two are following me. Yeah, Marin's kind of place herself in this little circle back towards each other thing that they got going on towards like so she's almost facing the entire opening of the actual shop while they get closer to the door Valsar and Pebble get closer while Mirren's still facing that I I'd like to go over to the band the band they're just playing away there's some people uh there's like a stage next to the beach and there's, there's a little group of people watching Excuse me. They're, uh, they look at you while they're playing, but they seem kind of know what you're talking to them. <laughs> excuse me. I, I I see you have a vacant seat. They look towards it while playing. Uh, who used to sit there? Uh, well, no one. It was just us. And Whoa, why no. is there bongos? Uh, someone must have left them here. I don't know. Oh, no. If you want to jam out with us, you're welcome to hop on stage. Can I... Take the bongos? I... Yeah, the normal bongos. I would like to say, I put this in general, but I've had a suspicion for the past, like, ten or... Yeah, I just... Uh, like, it. half an hour about what this is, and I just now, like, confirmed it, and I know what it is, but I, d I can't yeah. say. I, 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 I don't know, so... I'm, I'm not 100% positive. I'm 100%. Uh, just go up behind Shell, like, hey, can you guys stop real quick? Why? What's wrong? You need to stop. Um, there's something going on over there, and and we, um, the music needs to stop. Uh, okay. They just like stop playing the music, and they're like, I guess we'll take five. Sorry, everyone. Pebble runs over to Shello and the van, and she's like, Everyone, please watch your surroundings very, very carefully. There's something going Pebble, on. As you I say can't this, tell you trip over uh, something on the ground. You look down. There's a severed hand on the floor. Bob. Oh. oh. The fuck? Who's that's uh, can, can that's we look at everyone else's you just, expressions and is see the if they react at all? I frantically look around. You to frantically see. look around, look back on the floor, and there's nothing there. Oh my god, I know what this is. I, how do I? What? Okay. I feel so, like so based Aaron, on I know how you feel now. <laughs> Holy fuck! 
No oh way that- oh. oh my god. I don't know what to do. Well, first you can get back in I don't know what this is. <laughs> I, Pebbles, like, I don't know. breathing heavily. Know She's starting sure. to hyperventilate. She's like, something's no. wrong, but I- I can't- I don't know what. Uh, shows so the music up. just- and he, uh, uh, he's walking by and he's like, Oh, there you all are. We, uh, I've got the blueprints. Uh, uh, what happened to you guys? What, what's something wrong? He starts grabbing Premier. for his great club. There's something going on. I, I, I don't know what it is. Have you seen Tic Tac? Uh, Tic Tac, uh, rounds the corner after him and he's like, Hey guys, I'm here. Everyone, please stay close to each other. I, I can't tell what this is, but something's going wrong. I, I swear on my life. I, there's something going on, and and I, I I don't know how to fight it. Is it possible to do an insight check on them? Not necessarily to see their intentions, but see if there's anything even a little bit off about them, their mannerisms, from what we know. Uh, Marin, you can make an insight check. Marin, with your, with your 12, uh, they look uh, kind of freaked out that you all are injured, and uh, other people are starting to look at all you guys, like, confused uh, on what's going just... on. I just, tic tac. I I just I just tripped on something, and when I looked down, it was a severed hand, and I looked around to see who it was, and the hand is gone, and I don't know where it went. But that's yeah, all. You the... you sounding crazy right now? What are you I'm, talking I'm, about? I'm not crazy. I swear, I saw something. I, I tic tac speaking now. You guys look injured. Do you want me to heal you? That that would be great. Yeah. Tic tac is going to use some spell slots. So Marin and pebble you're healed up now so feeling pretty tired but since the band has stopped performing some kids have started taking it upon themselves to just play in the water as it's lit up by warm lantern light splashing each other and, uh, but then a wave sort of knocks one of the kids over and he falls into the water picking up his like head oh man i got swimmers here uh, 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 uh. His face just goes dark, eyes wide. He's screaming at the top of his lungs past the crowd as the other kids play and splash around him. Just for a few seconds, he's just, he's just screaming and then starts laughing. Giddily goes back to playing with the others and all running around the beach. I want to cast, I want to cast detect magic, but I, I, Marin has done that. Like, I, I, we know that won't really do anything and I want to. Hmm. Ugh, fuck me. Oh my god. Well, is your detect magic different from magic awareness, though? It might be. It Hold on. It says, for the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sent magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object. Pebble casts detect magic <laughs> and starts looking around very carefully at everything around her. A thumbnail for this episode could be like the 2,000 yard stair soldier. If also, Pina, if that's too meta gamey, like feel free to just not let me do that but how, this is how? So she knows well, what this is because she saw it in like a tiktok or something <laughs> oh you th oh like using the knowledge of that for yes. this. Oh, i i thought you meant just the detect talks. magic and i was like how no, is that i, a I, I watched like a half hour long youtube video about <laughs> this i literally watched a half hour long video <laughs> essay pebble Noises. with your detect magic can okay. you make oh, a cool. wisdom save i'll let you do it oh, at advantage. fuck me yeah oh no i got a six. <laughs> oh shit uh, 15 is oh, better so with better. your detect magic you look uh you look around frantically and between marin and balthazar's heads are some like magic kind of waves Magic waves. Um, I wish I could uh, say. I wish I could say what this is. This is so cool and so it's fun. A, it's a cat dog situation. I it is it. a cat dog the situation. School exactly. of magic right. coming off these waves is enchantment, and the waves kind of like uh, ripple through the air and then moves away. These ripples kind of following uh, something in the air as it begins to go into the ground you start to feel like something like your memory almost is like fading but then you start to notice that the ground is kind of being like dug at 
and a hole is forming, uh, but then like it flickers in and out to like it's normal, and then you see like a hole in the ground forming, then it's normal again, then the hole she's is there. Like, before she can like fully, like she sees this flickering and she feels like she has like a short window to do this, she's gonna just like sprint at this location and just like try and just like slam her sword into the ground where she sees it. You do that and blood splatters onto the ground and then you feel your mind kind of go black for a second. Then you open your eyes and there seems to be this like tunnel through the ground that a little blood trail trickles down. What size of tunnel? Can we the all see sized? it? It's fairly big. Like I assume, I assume all of us can't see it. It's a pretty large tunnel like you could like walk through it and as you look around you notice like another one down the street you didn't notice earlier and then you oh. notice like another one close by you didn't notice earlier and one like near the floral shop the rest of you notice this blood on the ground but you don't see the hole what the hell guys i don't i don't know what's happening she's like shaking she looks like she's about to puke she's like i just i jumped and I, I hit, I hit the ground, but I, there's blood and there's a hole. Like, do we go in there? What, what in do where? you mean there's a hole? The, the tunnel, the tunnel in there's the ground. Pebble, Pebble, what? show me exactly where it starts and where it ends. Like the circumference, I mean. Like, she, she's like, we see Pebble attack the ground. Yeah, you saw her like swing her sword down and blood appear but you didn't see uh, anything else and she can sana just kind of reenact the actions as well and th hits her staff on the ground your staff touches what you thought would be the ground it's like it flickers and there's just a hole there now do, do you see it Sa sana you see it now <laughs> all of you all of you attack the ground okay i am in like with an implicit it. trust she is fully trusting these two as Slams her halberd into the ground. They're doing it in the same spot they did. Yes. You now I'm, see this as well. I want to punch the ground below Ooh. me. Yeah, you do that and you just <laughs> kind of hurt your hand. <laughs> <laughs> is there blood? Is there blood, maybe. <laughs> I don't think I did that right. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know what that thing is. And I don't even know what I just attacked. But I... I, I don't know what to do. Hey. hey, you're not alone. We're here. We know what's going on. Or, well, we don't, but we are here with you. We are aware of what is happening. And we will figure out what is going on. This, okay? That's reassuring. This hole in the ground is now, before you all, you'll uh, eventually realize it's there. And it's like a tunnel that goes to the ground, tic tac and Ramir standing behind you, confused, then eventually, like, tapping the ground and noticing it. Zimbom and Minomai even uh, have have shown up now. There's a crowd kind of forming, like very confused. And I guess that's where we're in the session tonight. Oh my fuck! Oh my. Oh. Uh, oh my I'm yeah, so curious. This is one curious. of my favorite sessions that we've okay. ever had. Oh this god! This is I, really, really. I, I really, really wish I didn't it. watch that video because while I was watching this that video, I was like, "This is so cool," but I probably shouldn't watch this just in case. But I kept oh, watching. I feel uh, bad. This makes me really curious because Ugh. there's a lot of different like illusionary type shit that oh, I fuck. find interesting, like real world stuff. I'm like, I wonder how this, how if any of this ties back to what's currently happening, and it's just like a D and D version of it. I just want to eat sand. <laughs>